There are things coming out of the permafrost. For the last 11,000 years since our last ice age ended, a quarter of the Northern Hemisphere has remained permanently frozen. Hence why we call it permafrost, 9 million square miles of it, lying beneath Russia, Canada, Scandinavia, and permafrost underlies 85% of Alaska. In some places, it goes down a mile deep. Think of it as a time capsule, except instead of memorabilia, it's packed with things that could kill you. And the permafrost isn't just frozen dirt. It's a biological archive stretching back tens of thousands of years. Woolly mammoths, ancient bison, saber-toothed cats. And swimming alongside them in that frozen soup, viruses, bacteria, fungal spores, things that haven't interacted with a living cell since before the pyramids were built. For millennia, they've been locked away, dormant and harmless until now. The permafrost is like a freezer door that we've left open. Now it's melting from the top down and there've already been some incidents. The infamous one is from Siberia in 2016. The permafrost thawed and over 2,000 reindeer dropped dead. The culprit? Anthrax spores were released from an infected reindeer carcass that had been frozen for decades. The bacterium woke up from a slumber and infected a herd, which sadly spread to a 12-year-old boy who died. And that was just bacteria we already know about. An international research team wanted to know what else is waking up. So they collected samples from seven different permafrost sites across Siberia. Then they did something that sounds absolutely bonkers. They revived what they found. In a secure lab, they thawed 13 ancient viruses. Three came from a 27,000 year old woolly mammoth, one from the frozen intestines of a Siberian wolf, and lastly, a virus called Pandora virus that was 48,500 years old. The oldest virus to be revived. To test if they still worked, they infected amoeba cells and the viruses replicated perfectly. Now, before you panic, these specific viruses only infect amoebas. They're harmless to humans. But here's the problem. If viruses can survive 48,000 years in permafrost and still function, what else is down there? People who died from smallpox and the Spanish flu, they were buried in permafrost in mass graves. And here's some other food for thought. We have no immunity to anything that went extinct before modern medicine. And climate change is only accelerating the permafrost timeline because the permafrost contains, you guessed it, 1.5 trillion tons of carbon, twice what's currently in our atmosphere. As it melts, it releases methane and carbon dioxide, which warms the atmosphere, which melts more permafrost, which releases more gas, and away we go in this loop. And the things inside, they've been waiting a very, very long time.